Hey there, Jed Corbinus here from JedCorbinus.com, your trusted resource for all things health, wellness, and fitness. I'm an exercise physiologist coming to you from Roseau, Minnesota. This is Talk Therapy, a tool that I use to get past my analytical mind to think out loud and put it all out there. Here we go. Today's weather 77 degrees, sunny, and I uh, got the old specs on today because I'm going to go to the eye doctor sunny and the reason I say that is because it's bright right I usually have the old sunglasses on but 77 degrees sunny that is your weather everybody loves to talk about weather it's a nice little icebreaker that is it here we go yeah eye doctor today I gotta say I mean these glasses man these suckers are from 2016 these suckers are old it's time for a new I, I'm excited. I'm excited to get some new glasses. Uh, and if anybody, like, look at that. These little felt things on the end. Now, I'm a nerd, right? Like, I'm straight up nerdy. I'm okay with it. But I I like the plastic frames because of the nose pieces, but they're not adjustable and they fall down. But I don't like the wire nose pieces because they dig the shit right into your nose. And they are adjustable, but like there are no good glasses out there like it sucks like I've been I've had glasses since fifth grade and uh, ugh. but I'm excited to get new ones hopefully we can find something I have this one pair of glasses plastic frame I went to a really nice place and then they said I couldn't adjust these bows back here to like curl them around my ear that's what these little felt things do uh, but there's one I had this one pair of glasses and they were nice. Like these, these ones, they freaking the uh, what do you call that? The lenses had everything: anti glare, anti scratch, switch in the UV. Like it was awesome. And I went to Walmart after I got them and said, "Hey, can you heat these bows up and bend them? You know, like bend them around my ear, please." And they were like, "Yeah, like no problem." And I'm like Walmart Eye Center can get that done. And like this high end little place that I went to, like high end, I'm talking high end, couldn't, they like, no, oh, you can't bend them, bullshit, Walmart, they sh right around my ear, it was perfect, so hopefully, I can do that again, because I'm sparing no expense with these next set of glasses, because these are not anti-glare, these are not anti-scratch, they are the thinner lens, because I have Coke bottle, uh, Coke bottle sight, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So hopefully, hopefully we get that, get that done quick. Like I can find something similar to these. I don't want anything different. Like I don't really care. They're, they're glasses, right? I put them on my face, I can see, you know. But now, like it's, I cannot see. I can see enough, right? Like I can see what I need to see. I can still be legally driving with glasses or contacts, but it's just time to get freaking updated and some really nice lenses that don't scratch if I sneeze on them, right? Like these lenses suck. Since 2016, holy shit, right? So yeah, there you have it. That's today, I'm a little excited for that. But uh, <clears throat> the other thing would be, I guess, is whatever's gonna come to mind, right? Like today is the best day of my life. I challenge you to say that. Cobra Nation, say, say it see what happens I've been visualizing some really cool stuff lately it's in my head and I just just replaying over and over and over and over again which to me actually means something to me that means I can block everything else out and focus on that and when I can focus on something right like no freaking way the ADHD kid or ADD kid has hyper focus on something you know it's real right like you know it's something that means something to me so I've been just thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it and like I mean it'll happen and at the very least it'll happen for me and then everybody else around me it'll happen too so it'll affect the world I believe and uh, in such a powerful way I'm jacked right like I'm really 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 jacked for it 
thinking, you know, like the processing, the process of what I'm talking about, like it's just fun. Like really put that into perspective. What sets your soul on fire, right? Like what brings you to the next level in your own mind? Like do this, 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 and this, and then that's it, right? And then what? That's okay. But to really think about what that is and like, put yourself out there enough every single day like that if I did that and, and that would be it so and, and I, I get like I'm, I don't want to say what it is my ego is like yeah just tell him just tell him. that guy right beside me my ego no not gonna happen uh, because this one this one is special this one is special to me like I'm holding it really close right here I don't, you know, usually I show my cards and I'm all like, here's what I got going on. But this one, this one I'm holding holding really close, really close. Like, it's that special. Like, I'm excited. And it's not just excitement. Like, it's it's for me. Like, I do this for me. Like, I, I finally, like, narrowed it into what I do for me. And then I get to give, right? Like, like the talent of me... I will bring tenfold to the world and give that away, like, and give that talent away. And and then a person, I get to give a person opportunity to give and receive, right? Like, it's cool. Like, I'm, I know, it sounds so way far out there. It sounds so crazy and way out there. I get it. Uh, but it, it's not, it is so, like, it's in my DNA. I feel like, like it hit me. I've been working on it for a while now. I mean, actually, I've been working on it since I was in seventh grade, but I just haven't realized it. That's the fun part. That is the true fun part. Since I realized what sets my soul on fire, that's a big deal to me. What sets your soul on fire? Meaning, right? Like, if you, like the 10 of 10s, like 10s, all 10s, some of it may not be a 10, but it doesn't matter. Like the sum, the greater, the big is the 10. The end result is the 10. That is it. How to get to there, reverse engineer that entire process. Be like, okay, this, then this, then this, and this, and this, and this, down to the exact moment of inception or conception, whatever you want to call it, the beginning. Think it through, all the way through. Think of what can go wrong. Think of what can go right. The, con the contingency plans. And then you just do, right? So, like, that's where I'm at. I'm, like, in the doing and the, the yeah. That, that's the fun part. And I'm not in any hurry. I was at the beginning of when I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm in a hurry. No, there is no, like, there is no hurry. Like, there is no hurry if you're out to be the best, right? That's what it is. It will be. I will be the best. I will be the best one day like it like today today is the best day of my life hit me like a ton of bricks all day long and I love it what sets your soul on fire what gets you fired up so much so much that like nobody can tell you otherwise like no this probably isn't a good idea or this is gonna cost too much money or this is gonna take too much time this is gonna take too much energy this is gonna take whatever like you're gonna go yeah okay you're obviously, that's okay. Yep, next, next, yep, I'm gonna tell somebody. Whatever, right? Like, yeah. When you know, you know. When you feel it in your heart, in your soul, you know, right? That's it. So get after it. Think about that one. See what that looks like for you. Give it a shot. Cobra Nation, I love you. Thanks for being here. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, tag somebody who needs to hear this today. It means the world to me. And as always, if you're willing to change from the neck up, then you will change from the neck down. I believe in you. Now it's your turn to start believing in yourself. Stay safe out there. Be blessed. Bye for now.